Hi children, now we will discuss about the project making in space settlement contest. Any project, either the project on space colonization theme or the project on space hotel theme or the project on an asteroid mining theme, whatever you do, there will be a list of topics and subtopics which we are arranged in different chapters to be completed in the name of the project making. So this project making or the arrangement of this project making is called as pro forma of project making. In the pro forma of the project making, we will generally start with four major parts. First part, cover page. So the cover page consisting of the outer design of the, the outer structure of the space colony or the structure of the space hotel or the structure of the asteroid mining mission in the case of asteroid mining project with the name and the importance of the project. So this cover page would be designed in a such a way that by seeing it, the judges could get a better feeling and an impressive look on your project. So this impression will make the remaining part of our content development will be very easy because the first impression is the best impression in any aspect or in every aspect also. So cover page and after that cover page we will have an index named about the author. So here under the about the author heading you people have to write how the team, if you are participating in a team of 6 or 7 or 8 up to 10, it is called large team. So in the case of large team, the large team should explain their idea, should explain their innovativeness, should explain their inspiration to work on this project called space colony or space hotel or asteroid mining. So they may have an incident of inspiration from somebody or they may have an inspiration of incident from around the nature. So they have to clearly discuss about that incident which made them, which encouraged them to do the project in space settlement contest and they have to explain their experience of two or three months, whatever the time they spent on the project making. So this should be covered under about the other. And the third important point is acknowledgements. As I said, it is a professional competition. The professional would require a thanks saying note from the team to give a thank whomever supported them, whomever encouraged them in doing this work. Either the team may mention the parents' names, as parents are the first stakeholders of their achievement. The team may mention the teachers' names who inspired them, who encouraged them, who supported them in making the project. And the team may mention the institution name, and the team may mention the organization like NASA Ames Research Center or National Space Society of America who given them this platform 
to work on the space settlement contest. So this thanks saying note we will cover under the heading of acknowledgements. And the last and fourth important topic before the actual contents has to be started by the student should be covered is executive summary or this executive summary can also be called as preface or abstract. So this executive summary is also called as preface or abstract or sometimes in simple language we can say introduction. So in this introduction we have to the team has to or the individual has to mention briefly about the entire project at once. How they started the project, what they explained in this project, what is the outcome of their project idea and what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages or we can say instead of disadvantages the challenges. So what are the advantages about their project report and what are the challenges they faced in doing this project and how they overcome their challenges and how they explained the solution or given an idea to solve those challenges should be there in this executive summary. So dear students everyone either you do a space colony project or you do a space hotel theme based project or you do a asteroid mining project whatever it is you should remember your project has to be started with these four things there should be a cover page and then there should be a self experience of the other either that other may be an individual or maybe a small team or maybe a large team and then the acknowledgements that is thanks giving to the teachers to the parents to the school to the organizations which helped you in making this project report and at last there should be a executive summary or abstract or preface which gives a brief idea about the entire project which you are going to furnish the details to the judges in the next chapters. Understood? Thank you.